Do you want to learn this? First, open After Effects and import the logo. Create a sequence for the logo and one for the final render. Import the logo into the logo sequence and apply the fill effect. Change its color to white and resize it to your liking. Now add the logo sequence to the render sequence. Apply the fill effect again, but this time change its color to black so it looks invisible. Go to the effects panel and apply CC Light Sweep to your logo. Set the sweep intensity to zero so only the edges are visible. Change the width to 80, edge intensity to 90, and align it to the center. Duplicate this layer, change the color to your liking. and adjust the direction so both colors are visible. Now animate this. Create a keyframe for direction on both layers. Move to five seconds and change the direction to two. Next, apply Glow. Set the threshold to 24, radius to 50, and Glow Intensity to 1.5. Duplicate the Glow layer, change the radius to 200, then duplicate once more and set the radius to 500. Apply CC Composite. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Go to the last one and create a keyframe for opacity under composite. Move one second ahead and create another keyframe. Go back to the first one and set opacity to zero. Now in the second last keyframe, create keyframes for width, sweep intensity, and edge intensity. Now go in the middle of keyframes. Set width to 160, sweep intensity to 10, and edge intensity to 180 for both layers. At the last keyframe, change the width to zero. At the start, create a keyframe with width from 0 to 80 to make a fade-in transition. Select all keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. For the final touch, add a simple scale animation to keep the motion flowing. The best part is you can apply this effect to any logo. Just drag and drop the logo into the logo sequence. Change its color to white and you're done. You can also change the edge color. I'll upload the project file if I get 50 likes or 10 comments. Thank you for watching.